So this winter was a real challenging one. We had a, a number of cold spells, but the one in December that hit most of the continent was quite brutal. We had very high winds and it caused a lot of damage to even hardy plants. So this will be a video on the four eucalyptus that I'm growing on my property and uh, a description of their location and how they fared. So the first one you're looking at right here is Black Sally. This is Eucalyptus stellulata. Uh, it's found in southeastern Australia. Uh, I saw a bunch of these in habitat, I guess, in the Victoria, um, in and around Melbourne. And uh, this one is probably in the windiest spot in my yard. So it got hammered with the wind and the cold. Little bit here on these couple leaves. Um, this one has been a slow grower for me. We'll get about 50 feet tall eventually, but I am pleased to say it has done extremely well. So some of the spotting and I typically see that in winter with the wet. I don't know if that'll go away with age, but very windy spot, probably took the brunt of it. And uh, was, I'm sure it was being whipped all around and it handled it really well. Uh, the newer growth, you know, the, these parts here, which was at the end of last season, they'll grow year round, but they really slow down in winter. So it's almost imperceptible, but you can see it's starting to grow again. So like I said, the spotting I normally see, but this one has done really quite well. So that's the Eucalyptus stellulata, also known as the Black Sally. Um, so far pretty good and more of a green color to the leaves. It's got the nice red stems. And I don't remember what the new growth, because on Eucalyptus, the new growth comes in all different colors, um, depending on the species. I think this one might be more of a, a reddish one. I, I can't quite remember. But anyway, it has done extremely well. Grow, and I grew this one from seed. Here is eucalyptus number two. Another seed grown one. Grown uh, the same year as that black sally. And this is a uh, yellow gum or eucalyptus subcrenulata and uh, this one is known for its bark it peels a bright yellow color my tree's a little small hasn't started peeling yet but it's very close to the age where it will start this one is known for its apple green leaves and so this one i would say was probably the most protected of the four i currently have in my yard but i am pleased to say it's done quite well um, I would say looking up top that because it was growing you can see how small the leaves are it was growing uh, even in the cool weather and there are leaves missing so uh, I've seen this before it's usually from high winds it just actually literally just rips them off but the older growth no spotting nothing it really looks good this one so like I said, this is a green, uh, very green eucalyptus and known for its bark. So um, it still got hit with the wind, but not, not as bad as the other three. I'm sorry, it's kind of hard to shoot. It's actually gotten quite big. It's about twice my height now, but very, um, very hardy. I'm gonna say it's done quite well. I mean, it doesn't have the spotting of that other one at all. All right, no surprise here. Snow gum, Eucalyptus possiflora. This one's a Nyphophila. Probably the most cold hardy eucalyptus you're gonna find. Uh, grows into a small tree. It's found in mountainous areas. Aside from no, being known for its legendary cold hardiness, it's also known for its white bark and that's where you get the snow. That's why, well, it's also grown. Uh, it grows in areas that do get snow, but Another small eucalyptus this is probably one of the best ones that you can grow. Um, nice ice blue leaves. And this one got blasted. Uh, no protection in a wind tunnel and absolutely flawless. Not um, a spot, not any leaves missing, nothing.
it just really looks great and this one's about seven six or seven years old up oh, seven years old actually um, from seed uh, it does have a bad lane though over the fence right at my neighbor's house so this one days may be numbered it's hard to tell the lean from here but it's a bad one um i had two others that i removed that have uh were in quite an exposed spot and they did great, very well uh in previous years before i ended up removing them so another really good one uh, i can see that it's getting ready to flower too and here's the final two i guess you could say this double beast here the one on the right, um, it got broken off halfway two years ago from ice. And so basically from the fence up, that is all new growth in the last two years, probably 10 foot or so. Uh, I'm not sure if it's showing, but I am shocked and appalled. Uh, this one is damaged. So eucalyptus neglecta. The best smelling eucalyptus uh, gets about 40 feet tall it is considered hardy here it is probably suffering from at least 50 percent burn and primarily on the right hand side of the tree because that's the way the winds came from so we'll get in closer here and this one is uh getting ready to flower so this is what i'm seeing up top a lot of this The whole tree I'm seeing the there's nothing left on this branch here but generally considered to be one of the most cold hardy eucalyptus I personally if I, if you had asked me I would have said of the four that this would have been the second most cold hardy so I guess that goes to show <laughs> how you can be surprised um, you can see in there just everywhere the whole tree has damaged leaves and there's no no way they're going to come back from this that leaf will never look any better uh, there is a lot of new growth coming out um, more so near the top because they do tend to the lower branches tend to die off with time so let's try and zoom in and even on some of these kind of mid-level branches, what I'm seeing, if you look on the tip, like that one right there, that is new growth coming out. So they're going to lose, it's going to lose a lot of the leaves closer to the center of the tree. Um, up top, if we go all the way up, that is all new, fresh growth up there, but a lot of damage. And I just don't think it's showing on this video. So of the four, Neglecta is the least hardy, or at least the the least leaf hardy. Let, let's let's go with that.